go back over to R1 and I'm going to change the exact timeout to 10 minutes. And I could do that with out specifying the seconds. Anybody want to ponder a guess as to whether or not this will show up in the running configuration and why? Let's do this. Let's do a do because I'm in configuration mode. Show run section line VTY and you can just do VTY. Hit enter. And you can see, oh wow, it's not configured there. The reason that is is because the default is 10 minutes. So if you configure something to its default, it doesn't show up in the running config. I don't really like that feature, but that's the way that Cisco rolls. So if we were to go up and change this to 10 minutes and one second, and then go ahead and do the same thing. We should see it now because it's one second more than the default. And the reason I wanted to do that was I'm going to launch a Telnet session from R2 again, and then jump back to R1, break out of this, and just show you the difference between the show terminal. So right now I'm on the console line. I do a show users. So there's two connections coming in, and unfortunately I'm using the same username password for both, but when you see this little asterisk, that's the line that you're actually on. So if I do a show terminal, and I'm just gonna shortcut this section time, you can see that on the connection that I'm on, the console line, the idle exec is set to never, so it's disabled. Now if I wanted to see what the VTY line timeout was set to, I could do that by doing, well, it's actually a couple different ways you go. You can go show line VTY zero, because that's the virtual line, and we'll do the same thing, we'll do section timeout. And you can see here, oh, it's set to 10 minutes and one second, which is what we just configured it to. The second way you could do that is you could do a show line and give the actual line number. So this is the virtual line, or line alias, I'm not sure on the verbiage of it, but this is the actual line. So if you do 130, then you don't have to specify VTY. Do the same thing, and you can see it's the same thing right there. So the benefit of the show line command is that you can check the settings on lines that you're not currently connected to, whereas show terminal will show the line that you are currently connected to. I'll show you a couple things. One, you can specify VTY line 0 instead of all four of those, and set an exec timeout. Let's call it 6 minutes and 9 seconds. And then exit out of that, then do VTY line 1 through 4 for the rest of the line. So the first VTY line, which is line 0, will have an exact timeout of 6 minutes and 9 seconds. What I want to show you here was exact timeout will go 0 minutes and 90 seconds. And then we'll do show run section, VTY, that should be sufficient. When you're doing this section, you just want to have something unique here. So we can see here on my first VTY line, I have an exact timeout of 6 minutes and 9 seconds. For the remaining lines, I have a timeout of 1 minute and 30 seconds. So what I wanted to show you is it will convert from seconds into minutes and seconds. So you could put it in either way, but it's going to come out in the wash as 1 minute and 30 seconds. That's the way the configuration is going to show up. One last thing, let's go ahead and do this to all our VTY lines. So 0 through 4. And I told you that setting the exact timeout to uh, 0 minutes and 0 seconds disables it. And we saw that because we saw that no exact timeout actually configures a exact, exact timeout zero slash, I'm sorry, zero space zero, so zero minutes and zero seconds. For those of you who want to fuck with your coworkers, go ahead and set the exact timeout to one second. So now, for people that are telnetting into R1, and we log in, and we log out. So you can really screw with somebody's head here, because what they're going to have to do is, once they log in, they're going to have to issue a character every second. Once one second goes by without a character being issued, it's going to log out. So evil fun that you can have with your friends and coworkers. Uh, again, I would probably not do this in a production environment, because you could get in quite a bit of trouble. And the other thing that could happen is that if your only access to this is via remote connection to the VTY lines and you log out and now it's one second for you, you better have some fast typing going on to go ahead and change that because you're going to get in configuration mode under the line and then change that back to something that will give you a little bit more time. And really that's all there is to it. As far as the configuration goes, you know, just remember that it, this is configured on a line by line basis. So technically you could set up you know, a different uh, exec timeout for each of these lines, and we showed that with the VTY lines that you could set, you know, VTY line zero to something and then the rest to another. You could, you know, get as fancy as you want, as complicated as you'd like. The other things to remember, like I said, is that you can enter in minutes and then seconds, or you can enter in just seconds, and that will convert to minutes and seconds. Seconds is optional, so if you just want three minutes, you don't have to put three space zero. And then finally, to disable this, you can do one of two things. You can either type in no exec timeout or exec timeout zero space zero for zero minutes, zero seconds, and that will disable it. Anyways, that's about it for uh, exec timeout. Thanks for joining me in the Packet Lab, and I hope this helps you on your way to network godliness. 
See you later.